Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel that have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So somebody could be releasing some type of burden. Or somebody could be wanting to release some type of burden. Like somebody could be wanting to get something off of their chest. Somebody could be wanting to hold themselves accountable for something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's just uh hop in and see what's going on, y'all. Oh yeah, I did channel a saying. Uh I I channeled Ain't Nobody Come to See You, Otis. So if y'all don't know where that saying uh comes from, it comes from the movie Temptations. So there is a it's a it's a music group though, but it's but one of the the members their name is Otis and it's kind of like yeah they try to always you know what I'm saying steal the show you know they they think that they're a one man band but they have you know other you know members you know that's uh, on the stage with them it's something about yeah somebody dying to have some attention or somebody dying you know what I mean to 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 be the star of the show or you know what I mean. Um, so I feel like, yeah, that's relevant to somebody, but it's kind of like whoever this person is, nobody's impressed by this person. Nobody come to see you, Otis. You always drunk. You always high. You know what I mean? Uh, you all, yeah, because basically, yeah, somebody puts on a show because, you know what I mean? Because they're intoxicated or they're under the influence because that's basically what Otis did in the movie. So, Yeah. And something about, yeah, somebody not paying attention to somebody or, yeah, basically, yeah, somebody coming to the realization that, yeah, ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. I don't know, but let's hop in, y'all, and see what's going on. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got spin the block on them. But this is also, too, one of the what goes around comes around card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is, yeah, you don't know my struggle. You don't know my hustle. You don't know what I have been through. Mm-hmm. On point. Somebody's on point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So there definitely could be somebody that possibly, yeah, they done spun the block. You know what I mean? So they went back to a past person and they're receiving some type of karma. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's on point. So somebody told them, you know what I mean, what was going to take place. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody done predicted somebody's uh, circumstances pretty much. So, so yeah, somebody was on point telling somebody that, yeah, if you go back to that person, you ain't about to go through nothing but hell. So that literally could be how somebody feels like they're living in hell on earth. Mm-hmm. But this is also, too, somebody that definitely could be watching somebody. But it's also, yeah, this is this is the watching and stalking card. But I also named this card behind the scenes. So, yeah, something about um, foresight. So somebody saw something coming before it happened. So, yeah, something about a prediction. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody watched somebody go through some stuff. That they possibly helped somebody to go through. So it's kind of like, yeah. So somebody was behind the scenes watching some stuff take place or something like that. Or that's what somebody's about to find out. So somebody, yeah, possibly could want to hold themselves accountable for some stuff now is what I'm picking up. But there's also somebody that, yeah, they're trying to spin the block. So they're trying to come back around. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, somebody that possibly watched somebody struggle, watched somebody, you know what I'm saying, go through some type of hardship. Mm-hmm. 
This definitely is somebody that, yeah, sat back and watched somebody. Mm -hmm. This person, yeah, they're spiraling, they're spiraling down. Possibly, yeah, spiraling out of control. Wow. I'm also picking up too that yeah for 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 the one that yeah was was basically spun the block on a past person went back to a past person and it was already predicted what was going to take place. I feel like yeah. That person is ashamed because yeah, uh somebody is basically yeah watching them spiral down. I feel like whoever this person is, they're ashamed because they know that somebody is knows that they're declining. You know what I'm saying? Somebody knows that, you know what I'm saying, they're spiraling down to the point of, yeah, being out of control or something like that. Or, yeah, this person that they went back to, yeah, that person is spiraling out of control. But Or something is spiraling out of control. The relationship, the commitment, uh, some type of circumstances, you know what I mean, in, in, in uh, this person's home or something like that. Mm-hmm. One more. I've just seen the soulless being card, so I'm talking about yeah, soulless being. Somebody, yeah, somebody, um, somebody definitely, yeah, knows that they're getting karma. I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody possibly can feel like that, yeah, you are their karma or whoever you know this message is for is their karma. Because it's something about, yeah, this person, um, knowing, you know what I mean, that you either know some stuff, like you know that their life is spiraling out of control, or they can feel that you know. Mm hmm they're ashamed whoever this person is somebody definitely could be hiding out yeah this is the countryside card so somebody could live in the country mm hmm but this this also yeah could be uh, at a distance as well so uh, somebody could be at a distance or something about yeah somebody's far out so somebody been spiraling out of control to the point to a, of no return could be, you know what I mean? Or this could be, yeah, just like uh, somebody's relationship, you know? So it done spiral to out, out of control to the point to where there's no, you know what I'm saying, bringing it back to life, you know? This could be, yeah, like somebody's job is just spiraling downhill to the point to where, yeah, somebody knows that they're going to get fired or something like that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why is this uh spin the block here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody uh this is the big blue wall, but it's something about yeah, boundary. So somebody has some type of boundary up. Mm-hmm. But this is also too being blocked out. So somebody could have somebody blocked out or something about, yeah, there some type of negative energy is being blocked out or this person is considered negative energy and they're being blocked out. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm hmm. Why is this, uh, you don't know what I've been through card here? Something that, yeah, somebody definitely is blocking out um, some type of feelings and emotions as well. Or somebody, yeah, blocked out somebody else's feelings and emotions or, you know what I'm saying, ignored uh, somebody's feelings or, you know what I mean? It's something about, yeah, what somebody, uh, when it comes to like, because this is like the emotional blockage card. So it could be that, yeah, somebody already knows that somebody wants to spin the block. Somebody already knows, you know what I mean? And they already have, you know, their guard up or something like that. Because, yeah, maybe somebody feels like that they've been through too much or something. 
Mm-hmm. And somebody is dead serious, you know what I'm saying, about this boundary. Or somebody's dead serious about, yeah, um... About, you know what I'm saying, protecting, you know, their their energy, protecting, you know, their, their environment, protecting, you know, uh, their home, you know, protecting their, their sanity. You know what I mean? Somebody is dead serious about it, for sure. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah. Somebody laughed when somebody possibly, yeah, could have ran into some type of wall. You know what I mean? This could be, you know, like an emotional wall, a mental wall, you know, a spiritual wall, or this literally could be physical wall. Mm-hmm. Yep. If that's the case, I feel like the, yeah, it possibly could have scared somebody into, you know, some type of awakening. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody going through some serious stuff, so that, yeah... That could be the case. I'm picking up like life or death situation. Somebody could go through some type of life or death situation that could make them, yeah, wakey, wakey, shake and bakey. Yeah. Something about, yeah, it's a celebration, bitches. This is the celebration, bitches card in this deck. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up two, yeah. Somebody or some people are finding out that they celebrated too soon. This is the good karma, good luck card. But this is also, yeah, the St. Patrick's Day card. So something about March. So something could have taken place in March. Some type of celebration uh, could have taken place in March. Something about, yeah, St. Patrick's Day celebration. Something could have happened. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody about to celebrate some type of good karma. Somebody definitely could be getting recognized for some type of good deeds. Somebody or people definitely are scared because they done celebrated too soon. Why well, is this watching stalking? Watching behind the scenes? There's there is somebody that is watching somebody. Or somebody's being watched. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out if somebody knows it. So there is somebody that's watching somebody. I feel like whoever this person is, they could be obsessed with somebody. Maybe they don't want somebody to know. But but this is the test card, so somebody definitely could be being tested. If that's the case, I feel like it definitely could have something to do with somebody's faith because I'm picking up like life or death. You know what I mean? Something about, yeah, somebody going through some serious things and uh, that nature. So, yeah, somebody would, it would be um, a test of faith. Mm-hmm. If that's, yeah, with the cross card, so yeah, test of faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Test how much somebody, yeah, loves Jesus. But somebody's intuition is on and somebody somebody definitely is being protected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we got the moon. So something about the full moon is significant. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody's trying to figure out if somebody knows that they basically crossed them and then try to, you know what I'm saying, hide it or something like that. Or something about, yeah, with this cross and this moon, yeah, something about a hidden death. Somebody is trying to figure out if somebody knows about some type of hidden death or something like that. Somebody definitely could be hiding a death, but they definitely could be hiding how they truly feel about somebody. Somebody is yeah, watching somebody's moves. Somebody's watching somebody go from to and fro. But this is somebody that, yeah, they done played games with somebody's heart. Yeah, this is a wolf in sheep clothing. So, there's a past over loved one that definitely is watching over somebody. This Passover loved one, you know, they could have lived in the country or something about the country or the South. Somebody could be from the South. Somebody could have a church in the country or something about, yeah, um, a country church. Wow, the countryside here. Yeah, we got a, we got a circle. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there's a whole lot of people that are spiraling downward. These could these could be people, yeah, like church people or people from a church or something like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, there were people that, yeah, they were trying to figure out how to get somebody to spiral out of control or something like that. Or that's what people are trying to do. So I feel like somebody definitely needs to be aware. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, people definitely could be surprised to find out, you know what I'm saying, all the stuff that somebody has went through. Mm-hmm. And something about, yeah, somebody crossing somebody for some money. Or there could be, yeah, somebody that crosses over and somebody could receive some money because of it. Yeah, I feel like, uh... It's hard to penetrate somebody's boundaries or it's hard, you know what I'm saying, to 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 like crack. Yeah, somebody's a hard nut to crack open. But I feel like the fact of the matter is if somebody wants to be cracked open, they'll crack themselves open. So it's kind of like, yeah, those that are trying to crack somebody open, yeah, it's not meant for somebody to be cracked open when it comes to these people. Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody basically watching somebody from behind the scenes. Um, and I feel like th if it's either they are obsessed and they don't want somebody to know or they're planning and plotting, you know what I'm saying, to try to test somebody. So I feel like somebody definitely needs to be very, very aware. And I feel like it's because this person has spiraled out of control. It's something about Judas, you know what I mean? It's giving me like Judas energy. So somebody has already betrayed somebody or that's literally what somebody is planning to do. So somebody needs to be aware or it's a it's a group of people. Something about, yeah, a church circle or something like that. Definitely could have something to do, yeah, with a humiliation ritual or some type of destruction ritual. Because I saw ritual and then uh, destruction. Well, I'm spinning the block here with this uh, big blue wall. We got a commitment. So somebody, yeah, could be emotionally blocking out some type of commitment. The there's a three on this um, commitment card, so something about yeah, a third party or some type of love triangle. There definitely could be somebody that yeah, put somebody in a, a third party that could be trying to spin the block. But there's also somebody yeah, that possibly wants to be committed to somebody. Mm hmm. But I feel like it, it could be because, yeah, somebody's finding out that the person that they were committed to and possibly, yeah, the people that they were committed to as well, like this circle of people, whoever these people are. Yeah, they were they were Judas in some way, shape, form or fashion. But I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely is about to come across a nice guy or a nice woman or something like that. Why is this you don't know what I've been through here with this uh, I'm serious card? Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody somebody works really, really, really hard, you know what I'm saying, for what they have. I feel like somebody's put a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, you know what I mean? A lot of labor, you know, into themselves, you know, into, you know, uh their what they do for work, you know what I mean? Somebody could be thirty eight years old. Somebody could be born in 1983. But yeah, on this commitment card, we have the number three. March is the third month of the year. So yeah, something about March. Somebody could be born in March. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be... Um, 
a Pisces, Aries, Cusper. Or a Pisces or an Aries. Mm-hmm. But yeah, somebody definitely needs to know that, yeah, they are uh, definitely protected. For sure. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be born in 1993. Somebody could be uh, 39 years old. There is a fact. There is a yeah. Somebody that passed over that is protecting somebody. Watching behind the scenes with the test card. We got courthouse. There definitely could be, yeah, somebody that was in a commitment that possibly, yeah, could be working hard to get out of a commitment as well. Somebody possibly is trying to figure out if somebody knows that. Mm -mm. This courthouse card is a 23, which breaks down to a 5, so it's something about a change. So there could be some type of change or some type of court situation. Why well, is this spiraling down with this uh, cross card? And the change could have something to do, yeah, with uh, somebody spiraling downward. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, somebody's dealing with some type of emotional pain. And it could be, yeah, from somebody passing over. Or somebody passing away. It could be like multiple people. You know what I mean? Because this cross is like tombstone. So, yeah. So, there could be a lot of people from somebody's circle or somebody's family that could have passed away. And so, somebody could be dealing with some type of emotional pain from that. But tombstone gives me like, yeah, somebody's ancestors. So, somebody's ancestors are definitely protecting them. Or somebody's ancestors are, yeah, they got their hands in some stuff behind the scenes. But somebody, yeah, definitely could uh, come in contact with, with, with somebody that uh, is considered as, you know, real love. So, this real love gives me, like, a divine counterpart. Mm-hmm. March the 15th of 2023 could be very significant. Somebody could have a muscular body or athletic body. The color pink could be significant. Somebody, yeah, could be a cusper. So Pisces, Aries, cusper. Mm. Somebody, yeah. There's somebody that, yeah, probably, yeah, they're going to try to test somebody. So they're going to try to see if they can get somebody to spiral out of control if they bring somebody some information. So I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware of that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, some, but I've been picking that energy up when that cross card came out. But I didn't want to say anything until we knew for sure. But, yeah, somebody definitely has uh, some type of health issues going on. Somebody's concerned about somebody's health or something about, yeah, this could be an older individual. So this could be like somebody's mama, somebody's grandmother or something like that. Somebody definitely could cross over from whatever this health issue is. Why is the countryside here with the circle? Something about some false documents as well. So somebody could have crossed somebody when it comes to some false documents. But I definitely did pick up on something about hiding a death or something about a hidden death. Countryside with the circle. We got message. So somebody definitely, yeah, could receive some type of message. I feel like this could be a message of concern. 
but I'm also picking up two because this message card is um is a number seven. So the number seven, when it comes to life path, it's about spirituality. So somebody's life path could be the number seven or the number three. The number three life path number is harmony. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be 37 years old. Uh, July the 15th of 2023 could be significant. July the 3rd. March the 7th. March the 15th. But yeah, somebody definitely could receive a message of concern. Mm-hmm. But somebody also, yeah, received some type of message. And it is about the people that, yeah, they chose to be around. Like the circle of people that they chose to be around. Possibly, yeah, the person that they were in some type of commitment with. Yeah, they definitely could have received some type of spiritual message from an earth angel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, though, there goes that ritual card. So something about, yeah, somebody definitely did some type of ritual or is doing some type of ritual. Something definitely could happen as a result of somebody or some, yeah, doing some type of ritual. Why is this commitment here? Somebody definitely wants to be committed to an earth angel or something about, yeah, somebody could have abandoned an earth angel. And so, yeah, an earth angel kept it moving. Yeah. Somebody knows that they're getting karma. But at the end of the day, yeah, there could be an earth angel. You could be this earth angel. Yeah, somebody knows that what what's going on is a part of their karma. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Somebody is mentally and emotionally unstable. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody spiraling out of control. Somebody definitely worked hard to possibly, yeah, cause, uh, is, yeah, working hard to try to cause, yeah, an earth angel to possibly, yeah, be mentally and emotionally unstable to spiral out of control. Or that's what, yeah, somebody's going to try to do. So it's kind of like, yeah, temptation coming towards somebody. I don't really feel like it's temptation. I don't really feel like that, you know, somebody's trying to get in somebody's draws or whatever the situation is. But I do feel like, yeah, somebody's trying to do something to get an earth angel to spiral out of control. Or that's already what, what took place. Because it's kind of like, yeah, um, there's an earth angel, you know what I mean, that has been through a lot. This could be, yeah, through a lot of rituals, you know what I mean? Um, through a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying, spells, you know? Because if they were doing rituals, then yeah, there are some spells involved uh, with, with this commitment and real love. It's giving me like a love binding spell. So somebody yeah, could have done a love binding spell. They could have yeah done multiple things, you know what I mean, um, to try to get an earth angel to spiral out of control. And so, yeah, it's kind of like people are trying to figure out like what's going on. You know what I mean? Why is it not happening? You know, why is it not happening? They could have, yeah try to do something to to they try to you know project some energy yeah to get a uh, earth angel to humiliate themselves mm-hmm yeah by yeah being being mentally and emotionally unstable but there is somebody that yeah is mentally and emotionally unstable because yeah they feel abandoned so something about yeah somebody triggering somebody's abandonment issues Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, is going to skip out on court. So somebody's not going to show up to court or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's hard work is about to pay off. Somebody's about to uh, receive something, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, the, yeah, somebody needs to show gratitude whenever they receive whatever this is. Somebody, yeah, definitely kept it 100 with somebody about some, some stuff because it's 100 on this card. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody watched somebody be tested and somebody, yeah, passed the test with flying colors. So, yeah, if that's the case, congratulations. But be aware because I feel like that um somebody definitely could be trying to test somebody. So, somebody already, yeah, they could have uh, passed some a test with flying colors. Somebody is trying to test give somebody their own test or test somebody you know what i'm saying in their own way so somebody needs to be aware mm -hmm. yeah we got this so this this card has been coming out a lot lately somebody definitely could be getting karma for doing this mm -hmm. give me another one so somebody needs to be aware of that but like i said yeah if they were doing rituals 
Uh, they yeah, there were a lot of spells that were involved. Mm hmm. Give me one. Yeah, somebody could have a child with a karmic masculine energy. Or something about, yeah, a childish karmic masculine energy. Mm hmm. Something about, yeah, a child. Watching something take place. Mm -hmm. This definitely got something to do with, with a father. But then we have divine feminine. So something about, yeah, divine feminine. So somebody's child could be 18 years old. Yeah, something about the fruits of somebody's labor. So something about, yeah, the fruits. So, yeah. Somebody, yeah, there's a feminine energy, a divine feminine that bears good fruit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. There definitely could be a divine feminine or a divine masculine that, yeah, their hard work is about to pay off. They're, they're, yeah, they, they done, yeah. They they planted seeds, they watered them the way that they were supposed to be watered, they nurtured them, they took care of them, and yeah. Uh, the hard work is about to pay off. Mm hmm But somebody else yeah, was definitely serious about um yeah, causing somebody to spiral out of control. Mm-hmm. Something about yeah. A heat exhaustion or something about being outside too long. So somebody, yeah, could pass away from heat exhaustion or something about, yeah, being outside. Mm -hmm. There's a cat on that card. So something about, yeah, sacrificing animals or, yeah, sacrificing, yeah, using a cat or something like that. But that cat is also a representation of intuition. So something about, yeah, an intuitive message. With that intuition card, with that being intuition and then that message. Why is this courthouse here? Somebody, yeah, could receive some type of unexpected money and it could be uh, uh, out of the courts or through the courts or something like that. Because something has changed. With this courthouse being a 32, which breaks down to a 5. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, be aware because you, now that, yeah, now that I know that somebody has passed the test with flying colors, there definitely could be somebody or some people that, yeah, they want to test somebody in their own way. So, it definitely could have something to do with, yeah, some testing somebody's faith. So we want to see how big their faith is. We want to see if they really love Jesus or God the way that they say they do. We really want to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These people are definitely trying to cause destruction. But it could be because, yeah, they're going through some type of destruction. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, a courthouse being tore up or a courtroom being tore up. So there could be some type of um, fight that breaks out in a courtroom. If there are storms that take place, you know what I mean, or or some storms that have taken place, yeah, somebody's home could have could have gotten destroyed. Or if there are some storms that take place, yeah, there is a, a tornado that could run through somebody's home. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I just put that back. <laughs> yeah, somebody definitely could be trying to take back everything that they have done. Mm -hmm. I'm also picking up too, yeah, it's going to be basically spoken loud and clear of some type of destruction that somebody or some people have caused in other people's lives. This could be spiritual court, physical court, or both. Mm -hmm. But somebody, yeah, definitely could be yeah trying to do some type of ritual. This could be candle magic. This could be like burning ashes or, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Something about, yeah, ritual when it comes to, yeah, like a passed over people and, yeah, like animals. This is this is giving me, like, yeah, offerings. 
So somebody definitely yeah, could have been bringing offerings, fruit, animals, all type of stuff. So I don't know if somebody's about to find out about somebody yeah, living a cult life or you know what I'm saying? It's something about a group of people. Real love. Yeah, somebody's in bondage. Somebody could be born in 1986. Mm -hmm. There's, there, yeah, there's people that are going through destruction. Uh, there are people that, yeah, are going through some type of bondage. But it's something about, yeah, um, whatever this ritual is, it definitely has something to do with trying to, yeah, bind somebody. Have somebody under bondage. This is giving me like kidnapping energy. Every time I see this card, it gives me kidnapping. So somebody definitely could find out about some type of kidnapping. Or something about, yeah, somebody being bound to their beliefs. You know what I mean? Or the beliefs of those around them. Mm-hmm. There, de there definitely could be, yeah. There definitely could be uh, uh, intuitive or, you know what I'm saying, a spiritual messenger or something like that. They definitely could be speaking for those that can't speak anymore. You know what I'm saying? Anymore. So these people could be passed over. Mm hmm. So it's kind of too giving me like, yeah, there could be somebody that could be speaking for somebody. You know what I mean? Uh, and they don't even know it or something like that. Mm hmm. Some type of message is being blocked or something about, yeah, people want somebody to hush. People don't want some type of message to get out mm -hmm. as well. So whoever these people are, yeah, they don't want some type of message to get out. Yeah, somebody definitely could have some type of lust demon or, yeah, the person that is obsessed with somebody. They don't want somebody to know it. They're lusting over somebody. I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, this person could be in a commitment that's lusting over somebody. And so, yeah, they're getting karma because of it. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like, yeah, somebody or some people are going to find out some stuff that was, that was hidden or something like that. Wow. We got twin flames. So somebody's twin flame could be involved. We got a twin flame and we got a soulmate. Somebody could be born in 1975. So there's, yeah. So there's a soulmate that's watching somebody. And they're trying to figure out if somebody knows it. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have to make a choice between a twin flame or a soulmate. But I'm also picking up too, yeah, somebody is trying to disguise themselves as somebody's twin flame or somebody's soulmate. Somebody definitely is high honor. Somebody definitely could have been in the military. Or somebody, yeah, is a spiritual fighter, spiritual soldier, because this high honor card is a 25, which breaks down to a 7. Mm hmm. But it's something about, yeah, going back to that hidden death or something like that or hiding some information. Somebody is going to receive some information and I feel like it's going to shock them and it definitely could have something to do with, yeah, somebody passing over or, you know what I mean, some shocking stuff. Somebody been kidnapped or, you know, this is crazy. I'm going to have to put a trigger warning on this message. But it's also, too, yeah. Somebody knows that because of them choosing to spin the block on a past person, they know that they're getting karma. 100%. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But it's also, too, some stuff that somebody has been through. It's 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 serious. And I feel like, the, yeah, uh, even though somebody has been through a lot, they worked hard. You know what I'm saying? They put in a lot of work, a lot of effort. You know what I mean? To... Uh, to make things happen under, you know what I'm saying, the circumstances that they possibly been through. You know what I mean? Yeah, somebody basically knows that life has to life or that, yeah, life was lifing. But somebody, yeah, got through life while it was lifing. 
But it's also, too, kind of like, yeah, those that um, were trying to cause some type of destruction, they have to answer to it. But I feel like it's it's a, it's a some type of change. Somebody definitely wants to hold themselves accountable. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody wants to test somebody's faith or something like that. So somebody definitely just needs to be aware. There's a lot of people that, yeah, have watched somebody go through a lot of stuff. And I feel like that there's a lot of people that are about to watch uh, somebody um, receive some, some stuff. If y'all hear, uh, there's kids um, outside and they're really loud. So, yeah. We got a dark lord. So, somebody could consider themselves as a dark lord. Somebody yeah, is involved with some type of sorcery. Somebody could be a sorcerer. It's giving me like warlock, witch, or something like that. But somebody's a tyrant. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, was trying to use some type of terror to control somebody. Or somebody, yeah, is trying to uh, use some type of scare tactics to control somebody. It's also, too, something about breeding. So going back to, yeah, that child and that dark masculine, I mean, I said dark masculine. It could be a dark masculine, but I meant to say karmic masculine. It says, declares themselves God, diabolic. Yeah, so devil energy, Capricorn energy. So there's somebody that declares themselves God or somebody that wants to look, wants people to look at them as God. Give me another one for this Dark Lord. Yeah, somebody needs to protect themselves. Because, yeah, somebody somebody's going through a power struggle. Or something about, yeah, somebody... Uh, or somebody definitely, yeah, could be um, releasing some type of power. Or, yeah. Or is being stripped of some type of power. But, yeah, there's a power struggle that, that leads to being uh, manipulative. So, it's kind of like, yeah... There's people in a commitment. I feel like uh, whoever this message is for, either somebody was secretly trying to put you in a third party. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, there's somebody that is lusting over you. They're committed. They're in a relationship or something like that. Whoever this person is, yeah, they possibly, you know, want to be considered as God or something about, yeah. So, it go so yeah. Nobody should put anything or another God before the 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 one and only. Mm-hmm. So yeah, something about worshiping false gods or something like that. But I feel like that yeah, because two people, you know what I mean, are struggling between each other. I feel like yeah, it, it caused you know what I'm saying, the darkness to basically overtake some type of commitment or something like that. And so yeah, I feel like that that's why the manipulation. Is taking place or has taken place. Mm hmm. Give me one more. But somebody definitely needs to protect themselves because I feel like, yeah, somebody's already been through too much. But it's also, too, like, yeah, there is somebody behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, yeah, could be, you know, protecting somebody. Or this could be, you know, this could be a physical person, but it also could be, you know what I mean? Like somebody in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the tables have turned on somebody. Or some people. Because of, yeah, some type of power struggle. Or because, yeah, people um, using, you know, uh, fear to, you know what I'm saying, control people. Or, you know what I mean? When it comes to, yeah, because it says selective breeding on this card. So it's something about, yeah, somebody having kids with, you know what I'm saying, the devil or something like that is what I'm picking up. Yeah, we got corrupt on this card. Somebody that thinks that they're a God, but at the same time, yeah, it's giving me like, yeah, devil worshiper. I don't know what this is, but somebody definitely needs to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. The tables have turned, though, so... I feel like that something is a great is about to take place for somebody. Somebody is very, very beautiful. Somebody could already be married because we do have this commitment out here. Or somebody is destined to be married. Mm-hmm. 
Somebody definitely, yeah, needs to use their time wisely and effectively. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, is realizing that they should have used their time wisely and effectively. Whoever this is, they're getting heavy karma. And this is possibly the one that, yeah, wants to spin the block on somebody. Mm-hmm. Yep. The fact of the matter is, maybe this person is waking up to the fact that they were being uh, controlled. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, yeah, somebody had the remote control and, yeah, was was basically, yeah, controlling this person. Or, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, wake up, woke up and realized that they were being controlled. You know what I mean? So, somebody could have found out that they were on a third party and, they, yeah, they released themselves. They freed themselves. Once they found out that, yeah, they were being controlled, yeah, they released themselves. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's still being controlled or that's literally the reason why, yeah, somebody was involved in all of this stuff. So, I feel like, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, wants to speak up or they're ready to hold themselves accountable. But, yeah, pushing other people's buttons. So, somebody definitely needs to be aware. Because somebody, yeah, possibly is, is trying to uh, push some buttons. Somebody could be an environmentalist. Somebody could be physically fit. Somebody, yeah, could be a uh, well-balanced mind, body, and spirit. So you could be seeing the angel number 333 a lot. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be healthy. Somebody could be fearless. You know what I mean? Somebody could love their family. Somebody, yeah, could be holistically balanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody has has is it has removed some type of obstacles and is continuing to remove some type of obstacles. Uh, environmentalist is somebody that yeah helps to clean up. You know what I mean? So somebody yeah could be uh you know in their positive vibes only energy. You know helping to clean up the earth. You know what I mean? This is somebody that, yeah, could go to the oceans and the beaches and, and pick up the trash so it won't harm the animals and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody is, is, yeah, using their time wisely and effectively, you know what I mean? By uh, being physically fit, you know what I mean? Creating harmony within themselves and helping to create harmony within others, you know, trying to live a healthy lifestyle as healthy as possible, being fearless, you know what I mean? Um, loving on their family, you know what I mean? Being holistically balanced. Yeah. And so somebody needs to know that thy rod and thy staff comforts them. Thou prepares a table in the presence of thine enemies. So somebody's table is being prepared in, 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 in the presence of somebody's enemies. Mm hmm Somebody's staff was over was abusing power and authority. So, something about, yeah, somebody that holds some type of power, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, going back to, yeah, the power struggle. So, somebody, yeah, is definitely losing power, or they done lost power, they definitely could be losing wealth. Focusing in on, you know what I'm saying, too much uh, when it comes to, you know, control and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, somebody's staff watching some stuff take place. So this could definitely have something to do with the court. If this is not staff, this definitely could have something to do with a job. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's, um, somebody's past em employment or somebody's present employment. But I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody... Somebody could have been committed to, you know, basically a dark lord. Somebody that, yeah, declares themselves God. Somebody that, yeah, demands to be in control. Mm-hmm. Wow. And somebody, yeah, could be waking up to the fact that they have been being controlled for a long time. Environmentalist with the staff. Yeah, we got the crown, but on the crown it says owner, master. So, yeah. But it's kind of like, yeah, if, if people or somebody or people were trying to control whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, you are the, uh, you know what I'm saying? You are the author of your own life. You know what I'm saying? You are the creator of your future. You know what I'm saying? You are the creator of your happiness is within you. 
But it's also, too, there definitely could be people that could be watching you, the creator of your own future, the creator of your own happiness, wear your crown and wear it proudly. And they're possibly, yeah, trying to figure out how. Because I, we could have swore that we done every anything and everything to, to put this person in bondage. Or we done any and everything to destroy this person. Their home, their money, you know what I mean? We, we done everything in our power to try to cause this person to have bad karma. So, how is it that they're still, you know what I'm saying, wearing their crowd proudly? It's because, yeah, somebody had the faith to know, you know what I'm saying? They definitely, yeah, because we have the, the work, labor, and uh, effort card out here. So somebody, yeah, had the uh, faith, and they definitely put in the works, knowing that, yeah, um, that rod and that staff comforts them. You know what I mean? Protection. Mm-hmm. And something about, yeah, prayers of protection as well. Courthouse with the destruction. Yeah, somebody's an achiever. But it's also, yeah, but somebody also was choosing outside gratification. Yeah, full of themselves. Wow. So this is somebody that, yeah, they were flying, you know what I'm saying, their money in somebody's face. They were flying their cars in somebody's face or these people. Or something about, yeah, somebody knows exactly why they're getting karma. So if this is people that are losing homes, money, or whatever, it's because, yeah, it's karma. They were, they were, they were, yeah, arrogant and not humble. The fact of the matter is, yeah, they possibly have a whole lot of money and they didn't give two shits about, you know what I'm saying, a homeless person. Or they didn't give two shits about, you know what I'm saying, anybody but themselves. They definitely, yeah, could have watched somebody go through destruction. They definitely could have helped somebody to go through destruction. Instead of, yeah, so it's kind of like, mm, 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 mm. Wow. So, whoever this is, or whoever these people are, yeah, they're spiraling out of control. We got an addict. So, somebody could be an addict. Divine intervention is at play. So, somebody definitely needs to know that divine intervention is at play. And, yeah, we got karma on this card. Y'all see how that hand is right there? So it's something about, yeah, somebody holds the power in their hand. Somebody, The ball is in, yeah, somebody's court. Mm-hmm. My bad, y'all, if y'all hear Cookie. She uh sleeping really, really, really good, so... I'm sorry if y'all hear her snoring. But, yeah, we got a clown. So, yeah, this is somebody that, yeah, was laughing at somebody's pain. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody could be a performer. Yeah, whatever somebody does in their life, yeah, they're spiraling downward or something like that. So it's kind of like, yeah, just say if somebody could draw, they're not able to draw anymore. Or like if somebody, you know, is a, a teacher or a professor, it's kind of like, yeah, um, their mental health could be, you know, um, affecting them to where they can't teach anymore. Or, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, somebody, if somebody's a farmer, their energy could be so dark that, yeah, it's, it's, it's causing their crops not to grow or, you know what I mean? This literally could, yeah, because going back to fruits of your labor and stuff, like somebody's kids, you know what I'm saying, could be spiraling down, you know what I mean? So kids, somebody's kids could be failing in school or, you know what I mean, somebody's kids, you know, could could be doing things that, you know, adults do and, and, and things of that nature. Real love with this bondage. Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody's wide awake. Somebody definitely needs to stand firm on, you know what I'm saying, what they believe in. Somebody needs to stand firm in their faith. Somebody needs to stand firm, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know, the choices and decisions that they make. Mm-hmm. There's a clown that was trying to camouflage themselves, so it goes back to the twin flame and the soulmate energy. You know, karmic, uh, kar uh, false flame and uh, karmic soulmate. So, yeah. But it's also, too, something about somebody trying to clean up some stuff. Uh, that they uh, that they caused or something like that. And look, 
This person got the uh, staff in their hand. Is that a staff? Oh, that's a big ass sword. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Somebody could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wow. Well, that definitely could be somebody's staff, too. <laughs> so, thy rod and thy staff, it comforts me. Yeah. But that's, yeah. That's literally protection. So, it's something about, yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody is very powerful. Spiritually powerful. Somebody, yeah, could hold physical power, but when it comes to spiritual power, yeah, somebody's really, really powerful. I feel like somebody should know that if they don't know that. Give me one for this uh, firm energy. Yeah, somebody, somebody's wide awake. So yeah, somebody's, um, you know, spiritually awakened. So yeah, somebody knows that somebody is trying to keep silent. Somebody knows that somebody's hiding some stuff. Somebody's trying to clean up some type of coercion. But it's also too something about, yeah, somebody trying to be decisive or being decisive when it comes to some type of hint. So I don't know if somebody's going to try to hint somebody to something or something about, yeah, somebody needs to be quiet. Because I feel like the, yeah, somebody has to clean up their own mess. So it's kind of like, yeah, going back to somebody trying to test somebody. Somebody possibly is trying to test somebody to see what they know or, you know what I mean? Can you help me uh, with some information? This could be, yeah, like just say somebody's a spiritualist and somebody knows it. Yeah, somebody could be like, yeah, can you give me a reading? Can you, you know what I mean? But it would be, yeah, to cause somebody to overstep their boundaries. Or, again, it would be, yeah, to, to try to get somebody to make a fool of themselves. Or it definitely could have something to do with, yeah, somebody trying to figure out, you know, what their fate is. Or, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's also trying to figure out if somebody knows that, yeah, they were a part of something. Mm-hmm. Somebody also laughed at somebody for taking a chance. Or, or taking some type of risk. Or taking some type of leap of faith. I'm also picking up too that yeah, somebody definitely could be keeping silent about what they're doing. So there so there is somebody that's watching somebody and I said that yeah, they don't want somebody to know because I feel like that um they don't want other people to know or something like that. But I feel like somebody just needs to pay attention to their surroundings because I don't like that energy. Why is this uh keep silent here? Yeah, it's the the two that came out was the shadow, which is the other side. So something about yeah, some past somebody passed over, and then yeah, the empty room, which is the end. Give me one. Yeah, somebody needs to um, embrace the journey with openness, trusting in the universe to lead you towards your greatest fulfillment. So somebody, yeah, is being told to keep silent and let something be or something like that. Or something about, yeah, not as far as, um, you know, what they got going on in their own lives. But it's something about, yeah. People laughing at somebody, yeah. Somebody needs to stay silent. Somebody doesn't need to, you know what I'm saying, get out of character. Somebody doesn't need to, you know what I'm saying, stoop to these people's level. But I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody possibly is going to find out some information that they're going to need to keep silent. And something about, yeah, somebody's appearance. Somebody definitely could have been laughing at somebody's appearance because that's the mirror energy that came out. So somebody, yeah, could be could have been laughing at somebody's appearance. 
somebody definitely yeah could be reflecting on the fact that yeah they were doing all this stuff they they watched from behind the scenes somebody suffer somebody go through some type of hardship they they yeah they played in somebody's face when it comes to a relationship or a commitment or something like that mm -hmm. with this revenge and this appearance yeah somebody definitely could do try to do some type of beauty spell but something about yeah somebody trying to keep uh silent about some type of coercion Yeah, somebody's restless. Somebody's trapped in instability. Somebody, yeah, needs to resist impulsive urges to find steadier ground. So that's literally, yeah, what somebody's doing. So the fact of the matter is, yeah, I feel like um, karma is getting revenge for somebody pretty much. So it's kind of like, yeah, if you are being considered at these people's karma, yeah, it's, it, it, they got to pay karma. And so, yeah. So somebody's trying to find steadier ground. So somebody definitely needs to be aware. Mm -hmm. Message with the lust. We got a gambler. So somebody's reckless and selfish for sure. So whoever this is is trying to find steadier ground. Yeah, they're reckless. They're selfish. Mm-hmm. This person, yeah, they done done some unpredictable things or they done done some, some stuff is what I feel like. And it definitely got something to do with, yeah, with a, with some lust. This person could have a lust demon or something. Yeah, we got photographs. So somebody, yeah, could be lusting over somebody's photographs or somebody definitely, yeah, could be... Oh, on somebody's photographs, you know what I mean? But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody done took uh, some type of risk and it's definitely got something to do with showing somebody somebody's photographs and in turn, yeah, somebody's been watching somebody ever since or something like that. Yep. Because it says, seek advice from others on this card. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely could be having anxiety about the past. Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody have, when they look in the mirror, yeah, they have to face themselves. Somebody, yeah, could be facing their own demons is also what I'm picking up. Somebody definitely could be born in 1969 or 1996, but there definitely is a cancer. So something about a cancer. There's a lot of people because we got the circle card. So there's a lot of people that could be lusting over somebody. Mm-hmm. But these people are trash. These people are a waste. These people are worthless. But I feel like that that's literally what they try to paint an earth angel to be was trash, wor waste, worthless. Yeah. Somebody definitely, yeah, could destroy somebody's home or something about a destroyed home. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody definitely could be finding out that, yeah, the person that they were attached to is, yeah, they're, they, they, uh, they have some type of entity attached to them. Something about, yeah, sex addiction, because we did see that addict card. Somebody definitely could have a lot of addictions, like a sex addiction, a gambling addiction, you know what I mean? Addiction to, uh, alcohol, because that's what's on this, um, this card. Mm -hmm. There could also be, yeah, like past people, you know what I mean, uh, that are basically, yeah, remain the same while somebody basically has changed their life. They definitely, yeah, could be watching somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, is basically, yeah, gambling their life away, you know what I mean? They're basically, yeah. They're doing everything wrong. You know what I'm saying? They're not showing appreciation for life in general. Somebody, yeah, could could uh, have cancer from, like, uh, drinking a lot. So, like, yeah, 
um, pancreatic cancer or, you know what I'm saying, something, I don't know if you can have kidney cancer or liver cancer or something about, yeah, the stomach. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of too like, yeah, somebody done gave up on life. While somebody's still holding on to hope. Uh, there is some type of uh, wish or some type of prayer, you know what I'm saying, that's about to be uh, fulfilled or it's about to be answered for somebody. Mm -hmm. Just give me one for this uh, gambler with this trash. Thank you. Yeah, we got exploring. Embrace the unknown with curiosity, letting each journey shape your path and wisdom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But something about, yeah, somebody about to, yeah, go off the deep end. Y'all see? But it, but it is. If somebody wants to, somebody, yeah. Somebody's calling somebody to go to the edge. Somebody wants, yeah, somebody to, yeah, basically throw themselves off the ledge or something like that. This is a bond viv vivid or something like that. Uh, yeah. Unorthodox. Unorthodox spirit, low self-control, reckless, extreme excess, hedonistic, fueled by unbridled passion, shallow. So that's literally, yeah, what the energy that somebody wants somebody to be in. But I feel like that that's the energy that somebody is in or people are in. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, definitely could meet somebody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and become a power couple. Or something about a power couple. We could find out, you know what I'm saying, that there is a power couple that's married, you know what I'm saying, they, that's definitely involved with some stuff. These could be like celebrities and artists, you know, side note. Mm-hmm, somebody with an hourglass figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. Somebody's also tired of being clowned. Or something about yeah, somebody uh, being clowned for for a decision that they that they made or about to make. Somebody definitely could be looking for somebody. Mm hmm. And something about yeah, some divorce papers. And somebody that's about to yeah go off the deep end could be looking for somebody, but something about some divorce papers. So we have a commitment with the courthouse. So somebody could be getting a divorce. We got a Gemini. You could be a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart or there's a Gemini involved. There's a Gemini that could be looking for somebody. There are people that are falling off one by one. Yeah, so there are people that have not fell, fall, fell off one by one that are looking for some type of steady or ground. So I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to be aware because I feel like that, yeah, they're looking at you like they're steady or ground. Mm-hmm. Hourglass. Yeah, we have an agenda. So, yeah, you are a part of their agenda. So, be aware. But the tables have turned. So, with that being said, I feel like, yeah, there's a new agenda. There's a new plan. So, somebody definitely needs to be aware. Somebody definitely possibly wants to own up to the fact that they were being dishonest. For sure. Mm -hmm. somebody or people were lying about something so it definitely has something to do with like a home being trashed or you know what I mean like something about a get together or something where wherever it's a lot of people this could be like a hotel or something like that but something about yeah somebody could have to live in a hotel and they trashed it because yeah they're they're flying off the deep end or something like that but yeah Somebody possibly, yeah, could want to admit that they were being dishonest. Or they possibly, yeah, want to hold themselves accountable for some dishonest things that they've done. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely could be trying to, yeah, get somebody to let it go. I feel like, yeah, somebody doesn't need to be swayed is also what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody knows that they should have listened. Or, yeah, I feel like somebody possibly wants to admit that, yeah, they should have listened. So it's something about, yeah, 
somebody possibly yeah letting somebody know you know what i'm saying giving somebody some some foresight like yeah uh i feel like that you are about to go through a destruction you know what i'm saying you're about to go through chaos happy compared pandemonium you are about to go through uh a, a, a lightning thunder and lightning storm with tornadoes and a hurricane mm-hmm wow and it's kind of too like yeah Somebody laughed because somebody was abandoned or somebody laughed, you know what I'm saying, when, yeah, somebody was going through hardships and struggles and, yeah, there was nobody around, you know what I mean, or the same person, yeah, that, that caused some type of hardships and struggles, yeah, basically abandoned somebody and then laughed at somebody with other people. Yeah, they abandoned an earth angel. Mm-hmm. But it's all, what I'm also picking up too, it's kind of like, yeah, uh, somebody also listened to other people. When they decided to abandon an earth angel, when they decided to talk about an earth angel. Yeah, somebody had the nerve to talk about an earth angel's body, you know what I'm saying? An earth angel's, yeah, possibly their home, you know what I mean? Wow. We got a fraudulent DNA test. So somebody else could be flying off the deep end because of some type of fraudulent DNA test. Mm-hmm. Or somebody else could have lied, you know what I'm saying, uh, about a fraudulent DNA test. Mm-hmm. So somebody possibly, yeah, could uh, receive some type of text message. I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. You know what I mean? I feel like somebody just doesn't need to be in that swayed energy or somebody doesn't need to be, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody yeah, needs to be in this serious energy. Somebody definitely needs to be paying attention because it's people behind the scenes that, yeah, they, they're trying to um, find steadier ground. And I feel like, the, yeah, they're looking at an earth angel. But I feel like, the, yeah, compassion could be the key. So, compassion, you know what I mean? Let's look up the word compassion to clarify it. Because my compassion is different than what, you know, compassion really means. Because my compassion would be to, yeah, be compassionate from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Love from a distance or whatever the situation is. Sympathetic pity and concern for the sufferings or for misfortunes of others. So because, yeah, compassion literally means to suffer together. So so I feel like the, yeah. Um, people, everybody, you know what I'm saying, has to fight their own battle. I feel like that uh, somebody is not, uh, it's somebody's not meant to to meant to suffer with these people because yeah, somebody has already went through their sufferings and their hardship, and it definitely could have been due to you know some people in the situation. But I do feel like that when it comes to some type of compassion, I feel like it definitely could have something to do with with helping you know people. You know what I'm saying to change their lives or you know what I'm saying this could be yeah helping somebody to get a job that needs a job or somebody says that you know what I mean they need help when it comes to you know some type of addictions you know maybe somebody could point them in the right direction but I feel like yeah somebody need, doesn't need to overextend themselves you know in a big way I feel like somebody possibly has already done it that's why yeah people's karma is very very heavy and, and that's why yeah people are under judgment so yeah and so, yeah, there could be some type of, because I did pick up on, yeah, the courtroom, yeah, in turmoil, but it definitely could have something to do with this fraudulent DNA test and a text message. Yeah, because we have order in the court. So something about, yeah, uproar in the court or some type of, yeah, argument to break out in the court. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, there could be some information that could be found out about some type of fraudulent DNA test. So whoever this is that was in the commitment, yeah, they could find out some stuff about, you know what I'm saying, the person that they were committed to or just about their commitment in general. But yeah, we have guilty by association. So yeah, that could be something else, you know what I'm saying, that's found out in court. That yeah, people are, are guilty by association. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody trying to get revenge because somebody felt abandoned. So something about, yeah, somebody's abandonment issues being triggered. So I feel like, yeah, that's literally what somebody's going to try to do as far as, like, get somebody to spiral out of control. But I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to stay, um, needs to stay, you know, in alignment. Because somebody definitely is trying to get an earth angel to be guilty by association. Yeah, this earth angel is also a light worker. So yeah, this earth angel definitely without a shadow of a doubt does God's work in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm also picking up too that yeah, there definitely could be, yeah, people that could be walking away. So they could be trying to silently walk away. You know what I mean? So people could be trying to move or whatever the situation is. So they won't be held accountable. So those that could be trying to move. So they won't be held accountable. Yeah. Um, karma don't forget an address. Mm -hmm. But there is a physician that's involved. So there could be a physician that yeah. Um, could be yeah. At the end of the cliff. About to you know what I'm saying? Jump. But it's something about, so, yeah, if we uh, if we talk about, you know, the Judas, you know what I mean? And the betrayal between Judas and Jesus. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody somebody was already um, alerted that, yeah, they were going to be betrayed multiple times. And so, yeah, this could be the case. So we know what happened. You know, the Bible says that, you know, when, when um, the guilt basically weighed in too heavy on Judas, yeah, Judas basically, yeah, took their self out. Mm -mm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a there's a doctor that's involved. So I feel like yeah, there's a doctor that's gonna be in trouble as well. And it's and it's something about yeah, somebody was trying to accomplish um, being uh, the beneficiary of something. I feel like once people find out a lot of stuff, people are definitely going to be disgusted as to, you know what I'm saying, uh, what people were, were, were uh, doing. Because I feel like, yeah, because with that silence card, it's kind of like um, somebody or some people didn't know some stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody is being told to pay attention to their surroundings for sure. But I'm also picking up too that, yeah, it's kind of like somebody or some people, they could be fearing for their life as well. That's why they could be moving. Because I feel like that, yeah, they didn't got some stuff in they didn't got involved in some stuff. So that could be why I'm picking up on like, yeah, a hotel room or something that's something being trashed or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have um, could have violated some type of policy. So this could be, yeah, a doctor. This could be, yeah, the staff. Something about an environmentalist. It's something about, yeah, somebody, a, a farmer or something about a grocery store or something like that. I don't know. I'm picking up businesses. So there could be a lot of uh, people that are involved in this situation. Yeah, but there was uh, some type of policy that, that was violated. Mm-hmm. And then we, yeah, there goes that love binding spell. So, yeah, somebody definitely um, did some type of love binding spell. And somebody is guilty by association uh, when it comes to the love binding spell. So, yeah, this could be spiritual court, but this also could be physical court as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, somebody is unpredictable for sure.
Earth. That's how they feel when it comes to an Earth angel or a light worker. We got a Sagittarius, so there is a Sagittarius that could be unpredictable. There is a Sagittarius that definitely is involved. There is a Sagittarius that, yeah, possibly doesn't like somebody. Yeah, something about a hidden rivalry. So there, there's a Sagittarius that could have some type of hidden rivalry against somebody. That could be the person that is, uh, you know what I'm saying, obsessively watching somebody and they don't want somebody to know. Or one of the people, because I feel like it's many people that are obsessively watching somebody. Yeah, we got 1992. So the year 1992 could be significant to somebody. This Sagittarius could be born in 1992. Uh, this physician could be uh, born in 1992 or something about, yeah, something happening uh, in the past. We got a Libra. So you could be a Libra or there's a Libra involved. Or you could have Libra in your chart. Yeah, there's a physician that, yeah, they are involved in this legal situation. But yeah, some type of plan failed. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like, yeah, there's multiple people, you know what I'm saying, that are obsessively watching somebody and they don't want somebody to know it. But I feel like that there is one that is really watching somebody and I feel like it, it, it could be a good thing. It goes back to, yeah, they're that nice guy or that nice gal energy. But I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to pay attention to their surroundings because people definitely are trying to find a steadier ground. They're trying to find a balance. They're trying to, you know what I'm saying? And they're, and they're trying to keep quiet about, you know what I'm saying, them trying to find, you know, a balance or a steady ground. These are people that, yeah, they're getting karma. These are people that uh, know that they, yeah, some of these people, they came against you in, in many ways than one. Yeah. A lot of these people, yeah, could be friends, ex-friends, co-workers, ex-co-workers. Mm-hmm. Yep. You could be seeing the angel number 444, but you definitely are uh, being ultimately, ultimately protected. And yeah, whoever one of these people are. And I was picking up on, yeah, the person that is in a relationship or in some type of commitment. Yeah, that person could be married. Mm -hmm. and, and they possibly, yeah, could be trying to figure out if somebody knows that they're married or, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, they possibly could be trying to come in and test somebody. So it's kind of like, yeah, if somebody, you know, is an is a earth angel or a light worker. Um, yeah, then somebody shouldn't deal with married men or whatever the situation is. Um and so, yeah, somebody could possibly be trying to test somebody in that way just to, yeah, prove to people that they're not an earth angel. You know what I mean? I'm married and, you know, they, they slip. But why would a married man be, you know what I'm saying, or a married woman even be approaching anybody, you know what I'm saying, or even having a conversation with anybody in that manner? Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, but, but somebody definitely needs to know that victory is right around the corner for sure. You could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. There definitely could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius that definitely are not happy because they have been cut off. And it definitely could have something to do with some abundance. So it definitely could have something to do with finances. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. The uproar in the court could have something to do with finances. You could be seeing the angel number six six six. Yep, there is a Leo involved, so you could be a Leo or have Leo on your chart. Yeah, somebody definitely could have been wrongly convicted of a crime, or somebody was trying to wrongly get an earth angel, a light worker, convicted of a crime. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody, yeah. This people could have wrong try to get somebody wrongly convicted of a crime because yeah, somebody's mysterious and secretive. Somebody moves in silence. 
Mm -hmm. But somebody definitely needs to be aware because, yeah, there definitely is somebody that's sneaking around uh, in somebody's energy or around somebody's energy. And it's something about, yeah, somebody or people indirectly trying to impose some type of beliefs or some type of standards on, on other people or, or somebody. Something about, yeah, uh, like a old boss or something. Or old, I'm picking up an old boss energy or this could be a present boss energy. But yeah, somebody's drama is over. So somebody needs to know that, yeah, uh, somebody's drama is over. And I feel like that, yeah, um, there definitely are going to be a lot of people that find out some stuff that they didn't know about. Possibly including whoever, you know, this message is for. Yep, we got 21 questions. So somebody definitely is being questioned or people are being questioned. But it's something about, yeah, 21 questions, some type of test. Woo wee So that's why I was picking up, yeah, the courthouse being towed up. Somebody definitely is going to be arrested in court. So this could be, you know what I'm saying, uh, disorderly conduct, or this could be, yeah, because somebody could be, yeah, be charged with being guilty by association or something like that. I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, somebody or people were wrongly trying to get somebody wrongly convicted of a crime. Um, yeah, they could be um, arrested in court for perjury as well. There's also, yeah, somebody behind the scenes that definitely, yeah, could could be speaking up for somebody. You know what I mean? Basically, yeah, saying that they wrongly convicted somebody of a crime. This could be somebody that works for the courts. Or this could be somebody that, yeah, works for the government. Or this could be, you know, like a private investigator or something like that. But, yeah, anybody that's responsible for trying to wrongly get somebody convicted of a crime definitely will be held accountable for their actions. But I'm also picking up two. If somebody hasn't been arrested in court, they know that they're going to be arrested in court when they go to some type of court hearing. But I feel like that, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, could find out about some type of court hearing. Yep. Somebody or people are getting karma and they're under judgment. And yep, there are a lot of people that are going to find out about some mind blowing secrets, some mind blowing information, some mind blowing communication. About, yeah, a whole group of people, though. This is the information that, yeah, uh, was hidden. Or this is the information that, yeah, people were, were keeping from somebody or some people. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. But there definitely is somebody or some people that are blaming other people for their circumstances. So whoever you know this message is for, you could be one of the people that are being blamed for these people's circumstances. Yeah, we got public outbursts. So that's that courtroom energy that I was uh, picking up on. Uh -huh. Somebody definitely needs to be aware because there definitely could be people that could be trying to send false lovers towards you. Uh -huh. So something about, yeah, past people. Yep, they possibly, yeah, are trying to, you know, deter somebody or trying to get somebody to, they're trying to, yeah, stop from being punished or something like that. Punishment is meant to deter others from committing the same actions. So it's kind of too like, yeah, if somebody has already been arrested, yeah, people aren't learning some type of lessons. And so I feel like that, yeah, they possibly, um, you know, were dealing with some karma, but now they're under judgment or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we have court hearings, so yeah. There definitely could be some type of court hearing. So somebody could be arrested in court, and then yeah, there's another court hearing for other people. Or you know what I mean? But it's something about, yeah, some mind-blowing secrets, information, communication coming out in court. Yeah, somebody definitely is being cautioned, or somebody needs to use caution. Yep. Somebody's trying to figure out if somebody knows that they were involved in coercion. But we did pick up on that coercion energy. But I feel like, yeah, a lot of people are about to find out that somebody was involved in coercion or who was involved in coercion. Because, yeah, some type of past conversation leads to some type of admission of guilt. 
I'm also picking up too that yeah, that could be told in court. You know what I mean? Like somebody could have, yeah, said that they were guilty a long time ago. And somebody's just now saying or that people are just now saying it or something like that. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody has already uh, said that they were guilty in the past or something like that. I feel like it has something to do with boasting. And now, yeah, the same person or the same people that basically, yeah, were boasting about what they were doing. Yeah, now they want to blame other people for their circumstances. Again, including whoever this message is for. So be aware because somebody definitely could be trying to bring their personal drama to your doorstep. Or something about, yeah. The past. So somebody could have tried to bring their past, their personal drama to to your doorstep in the past or something like that. But again, somebody just needs to pay attention to their surroundings. But I feel like, yeah, it could be a lot of people. So it's kind of like because people, you know what I'm saying, see somebody living a different uh, lifestyle. And yeah, somebody, these people want help or people want help or something about, yeah, people want compassion. But I feel like, yeah. Somebody's only supposed to be compassionate to a certain extent. Somebody definitely wants somebody to take their guard down. This is somebody that basically wants somebody to know that they love them. Yep. Somebody's brother is involved. So somebody's going to find out that somebody's brother is involved. With something that happened in the past or something about the past. Somebody definitely is going to try to ask for one more chance. And they're going to, yeah, say that there's no more drama or there's not going to be any more drama. But I feel like that, yeah, somebody just needs to uh, make a wise decision. Yeah, somebody needs to, yeah, um, put their health first. Because, yeah, your health is your wealth. Mm-hmm. And something about, yeah, there's a snake that's out in the open. So whoever this snake is, they possibly, yeah, are the one that's going to be arrested in court. But yeah, there goes that hiding of death energy. So I know I wasn't tripping. Mm -hmm. So somebody needs to be cautious or use caution because somebody definitely could be hiding a death. It's something about, yeah, that's a big reason why somebody's getting some karma and they're, why they're under judgment. Somebody, yeah, so they were involved in some type of coercion or something like that. I feel like people are going to find out a lot of mind-blowing information. Or they already have. Mm -hmm. Yep. So whoever, you know, this message is for, continue to, you know, be on your healing path. Continue to do what you got to do, you know, to heal. But it's also something, too, about, um, yeah, the love binding spells and whatever else that they were doing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody definitely could be healing from that as well. Yeah, we got uh, this at the bottom of the deck. So somebody was involved in coercion, but somebody was also involved with this or people were also involved with that as well. Mm -hmm. And this is that energy that I that I was picking up on. So, yeah, it's time to pay up. Mm -mm. What else, Holy Spirit? You could be seeing the angel number 555. There is a big change that is definitely about to take place. Yep. And whoever this message is for, you need to know, you know what I'm saying, that you are not to blame. Their lies are. So, yeah, there is some type of fight that definitely could break out in the courtroom. And it could be because of, you know what I'm saying, these mind-blowing secrets, information, communication coming out. Mm-hmm. But it could also, a fight could also break out because, yeah, somebody's going to find out that they were wrongly convicted of some type of crime or that somebody was wrongly convicted of a crime. Mm -hmm. So 
there def there is somebody that's determined to make it right when it comes to you know uh, this situation when it comes to uh, somebody possibly wrongly being convicted of a crime or you know what I mean when it comes to um, some 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 stuff some hidden information or something like that but yeah there is some trouble brewing because the truth is out so that could be why somebody's determined to make it right or the fact that the matter is maybe this person didn't know and maybe they're finding it out I don't know yeah because we have missing the signs at the bottom of the deck so this person could have been missing the signs about yeah those that are around them because that's literally what we were talking about at the beginning of the message mm -mm. somebody could be a community activist there could be a community activist that um, that gets arrested in court or there's a community activist that uh, could be could be involved Yep, somebody needs to continue to demonstrate courage, strength, and gratitude. Whoever this is that was hiding a death and everything else that they were hiding, yeah, they can't clean up the mess that they made. And we got a baby father, so somebody's baby father definitely could be involved. Wow. We got May the 10th. So something could have happened on May the 10th. Yep, somebody's lies fell on deaf ears. So if, yeah, people were lying to get somebody wrongly convicted of a crime, it didn't work. If people were lying and said that somebody was involved in some type of coercion or corruption and extortion, it didn't work. Whatever, yeah. It, none of it worked. And now, yeah, people's foundations are crumbling. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and, yeah, this fight could definitely break out because of some type of crumbling foundation. Mm-hmm. The truth is out about, yeah, some abundance. So, I feel like whatever this abundance is, it definitely has something to do with all this stuff. It definitely has something to do with the hidden information. But there is somebody that, yeah, they know that they, uh, they, know that they took you uh, for granted. Are they? Yeah. Something could take place within the next six months. And it's something about, yeah, somebody being in physical jail or prison. So somebody, yeah, could go from being arrested in court to physical jail or prison. So this could be the person that, yeah, uh, reveals some, some mind-blowing secrets, information, or, yeah, communication. Because, yeah, they could be desperate for help. So I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. But it's something about, yeah, this... Somebody lying, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, nobody nobody cared about their lies. Wow. Somebody's too embarrassed to show their face as well. So yeah, somebody definitely needs to know that justice is going to be served on their behalf. And somebody definitely, yeah, wants somebody to take their guard down for sure. This is somebody that that claims that they love somebody. We have the color red. So somebody definitely could be mad as hell. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, passion. Wow, we got public outbursts. So, yeah, some type of public outburst is definitely going to take place. And, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people that are going to be crying tears of shame. Because I feel like it's, 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 yeah. It's people that were involved in coercion, corruption, extortion, and everything else that they were involved in. Mm -hmm. Lying, making stuff up. You know, trying to cause somebody to have a crumbling foundation. We got September, so we are almost in September. So uh, this definitely could take place in September or by September. Mm -hmm. Wow, you could be seeing the angel number 443. It says an invitation to pause, breathe, and tune into the blessings you're already experiencing in life. So somebody's about to receive some type of uh, breath of fresh air. 
and somebody somebody's about to be able to um to tune into the blessings you know what i'm saying that they basically yeah have or the yeah the blessings that are about to be stowed up upon them but somebody yeah definitely wants to have a conversation with somebody this could be yeah like a face-to-face -face with this a b conversation but this is somebody that yeah could be telling other people to see their way out of it or something like that but there is some negative energy that is going back to the sender so somebody definitely needs to know that Mm -hmm. Wow, somebody definitely could have flipped sides like a pancake. So that would make, uh, you know what I'm saying, some people, yeah, uh, want to fight in court. That would make somebody have some type of public outburst. Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody wouldn't have flipped sides like a pancake if he wasn't winning. Yeah, if he wasn't winning, they wouldn't care. So, yeah, somebody needs to be very, 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 very aware. Because it's kind of like whoever this person is, they can't clean up the mess that they made. It's a big mess. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole owl of, of yeah, of milk. Clean up on owl nine. You know what I'm saying? The whole owl. Not just the spill, but the whole owl. And for this health, is, is your wealth. It's giving me like, yeah, somebody definitely could be sick or something like that. So somebody needs, to, yeah. But you were born to, to lead. You were born to stand out and you were born to shine bright. And so, yeah, continue to do so. Uh, just know, again, there is toxic energy that is lurking. Mm-hmm. Wow. We got karmic lessons at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Somebody definitely could be learning karmic lessons for sure for people. You could be seeing the angel number 44. This talks about financial success, stability, and new beginning. So, yeah. Continue to protect your energy and continue to believe in your strength. So, that's that energy that I was picking up as far as, yeah, somebody's very, very, very powerful. Mm-hmm. But we got a court situation, so we have a lot of court out here. So somebody, yeah, is going to get arrested in court. But there's also some type of court situation that's going on now. But we, but heavy September energy. So somebody definitely, yeah, is going to find out about this this court stuff. And it could be through, you know, what I'm saying somebody or some people. But yeah, you could be seeing the angel number eight eight eight. But yeah. Karma is a knocking at, at people's doors, but we know that because we have karma and judgment out here. Yep. And it goes back to, yeah, somebody bragging about their fake life. Somebody bragging about what they got. You know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to throw a, a fake-ass karmic relationship up in somebody's face. You know what I mean? And now that, yeah, they done got involved in all this foolishness. Mm-hmm. But somebody, yeah, is the last to find out about some stuff. So somebody's last to find out about, you know what I'm saying, some stuff. This could definitely have something to do with somebody traveling, going on a vacation or some type of getaway or something like that. Or something, yeah, could could happen as a result of this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Somebody, yeah, it's about time for somebody's spiritual award ceremony so somebody yeah needs to get ready get ready get ready but somebody's about to receive some need to know info for sure mm -hmm. yep somebody yeah somebody or some people are definitely about to do some type of walk of shame but we did see where somebody's trying to you know what i'm saying basically yeah uh, like walk it out like you know what I'm saying if I move or if I you know what I'm saying go in hiding or something like that then yeah karma karma and judgment they won't see me the hell if they won't but yeah people yeah there's people that are definitely going to have to do some type of walk of shame yeah and it's because of some type of expect unexpected news so mm, 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 mm. Wow, and this unexpected news definitely could have something to do, yeah, with um, a lot. It's a lot going on in this message. Yep, but just know, you know what I'm saying, that you are ultimately protected. 
there definitely could be somebody that was the last to find out that you were ultimately protected or something about you being an earth angel or, you know what I'm saying, a, um, a light worker. Yep, we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be a Libra, you could be a Gemini, or you can be an Aquarius. But yeah, victory is right around the corner. Mm-hmm. And for those of you that have a twin flame, you could be seeing the angel number 1122, but somebody could be, coming, could be reuniting with their twin flame. Wow, we got one more chance. So there goes that one more chance energy. So yeah, somebody definitely needs to be aware because somebody could possibly be, yeah, trying to get somebody to give them one more chance. I feel like, yeah, it's that karmic masculine. Or it could be, yeah, past people with this communication from the past. And it's something about, yeah, June, July, and August. So yeah. I feel like, yeah, whatever this unexpected news is, this mind-blowing this mind blowing secrets, information, and communication, it's going to shock a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, somebody not paying attention to the signs that was all around them. Yeah, somebody definitely is healing. Somebody definitely has ultimate protection, and somebody definitely is healing. For sure. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be entering into a higher level of vibration. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit? Yep. Somebody or some people done wreaked havoc in society. Yeah. So somebody or some people are being deemed as troublemakers. Mm -hmm. And all the fake news, all the lies, all the fake news that people told, yeah. Basically, yeah, it fell on uh, deaf ears. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's something about differences in beliefs. So with that being said, I feel like the, yeah... Um, because people didn't believe in what an earth angel, what a light worker believed in, yeah, they, they basically, yeah, created an illusion that a light worker, you know what I'm saying, an earth angel was, was bad or dark or, you know what I'm saying? Yep, there's somebody or some people that were chasing success without satisfaction. So people were chasing success, but weren't getting nothing, there were no, they weren't getting satisfaction out of it. So yeah, somebody definitely needs to be aware because somebody definitely could be determined to make uh make it right as far as um I guess whatever they've done. Mm -mm. But yeah, somebody definitely needs to be aware because somebody definitely is desperate for help. And it could be to the point to where, yeah, they'll try to expose some information. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a big change that's taking place. You could be seeing the angel number 555. You could be a, yeah, a Cancer Gemini Cusper. Or there's a Cancer Gemini Cusper involved. And something about somebody's best friend, because i just seen best friend involved. So somebody could find out that their best friend is involved in, in some stuff. Yeah, lies are being uncovered. Yeah. Trouble is brewing because the truth is out. Somebody's first murder last name uh, could start with a D. But yeah, somebody doesn't uh, need to overextend themselves because yeah, these people don't deserve it. So yeah, so it's okay for somebody to yeah show compassion from a distance. These people yeah, they're they're learning some type of karmic lessons. And there is a lion, sneaky thief, that is lurking in somebody's energy as well. So it came right back out. Yeah, somebody indirectly imposing beliefs or standards on other people. Yep, that's sneaking around somebody's energy. So yeah, the spiritual alarm has been rung. Some there's a somebody that has mastered the technique of gaslighting that definitely could be trying to come in to gaslight somebody. Mm hmm. But somebody, yeah, somebody's also finding out that yeah, it's always the ones that that are closest to you. So there is somebody, yeah, that's finding out. 
a whole lot of stuff about the people that they chose to be around. Family members, friends, co-workers, or whatever. So yeah, somebody's being told to let go and live more. And somebody also needs to know that yeah, it's you. It's not them. I mean, it's not you. It's them. My bad. Yeah, whatever's going on, it could be at a distance. So I think I did pick up that at a distance energy. So yeah, somebody needs to continue to pay attention to the signs. Because somebody definitely will need to make a decision really, 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 really soon. And it definitely has something to do with a court date or a court hearing. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, a manipulative cousin. So there's a manipulative cousin that's involved. Yep, somebody's first middle or last name could start with a G or a B. So there is some type of, yeah, so there is uh, news of tragedy that definitely could be spreading fast. So that could be that unexpected news that uh, somebody finds out. Or by September, yeah, somebody's going to receive some news of tragedy and it's going to spread fast. Somebody, yeah, could be overcoming addictions and this fell right on top of health is wealth. So, yeah. Whatever addictions that somebody, you know what I'm saying, had, they're overcoming them. And so, yeah, the Most High definitely is proud of somebody. Yep. And then we have spiritual attacks backfired. So, yeah, somebody also needs to know that, yeah, some spiritual attacks backfired. Yep. And somebody needs to know that, yeah, there is some negative energy that is being blocked out. So, mm-hmm. Yep. So, somebody, yeah, pretended to be somebody that they're not. They possibly continue to be somebody that they're not. And so, at the end of the day, um, I feel like that, uh, uh, yeah, people are going to know exactly who this person is or who these people are. But somebody, yeah, definitely could be moving. But it's also, too, something about somebody possibly, yeah, could need to make some type of decision soon when it comes to moving. The feds definitely are watching somebody for sure. And then we have, yeah, wants to pay back the money that they stole. So if somebody stole some money from somebody, they want to pay somebody uh, the money that they stole back. But somebody yeah, is, is attracting prosperity in their life. And so that's why, yeah, people don't want to let go. And it's about, yeah, those past people. So I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to be very, very aware. And it's something about, yeah, multiple plans have failed. And so I feel like that because multiple plans have failed, I feel like, um, yeah, people are still lurking, trying to figure out, you know what I mean, how um, to uh, get close to somebody so that they can, you know what I'm saying, uh, get some of this prosperity, get some of this abundance. Mm-hmm. Yep, because somebody's stable and somebody's independent. Yeah, we got an ex-lover. So there's an ex-lover that could be moving or something about an ex-lover. There's an ex-lover involved. But yeah, somebody needs to know that, yeah, you are their karma. Whoever whoever these people are, you are their karma. And yeah, the, somebody's best friend it definitely is involved with some stuff. So I feel like uh, whoever this message is for, just know that um you first of all you definitely have ultimate protection, but I feel like the jail you're about to find out a lot of information. You definitely are about to find out about some type of court date or some type of court hearing. Um, trouble is brewing because the truth is out. Lies fell on deaf ears. People try to blame you for their circumstances, and you're not to blame. Their lies are. 
there's past people that don't want to let go or people in general. This could be friends. This could be co-workers. This could be family members or who, what have you. You know what I mean? This could be somebody that, yeah, try to put you in a third party and you said, hell no, you won't go. And so, yeah, they basically, yeah, thought that they control, could control you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And, yeah, they basically are finding out the hard way that you're not to be controlled. They're finding out, yeah, basically the hard way that you're an earth angel, a light worker. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah. I just saw a letter of explanation. So, somebody, yeah, could receive some type of letter of explanation. So, yeah. I feel like that uh, whoever this message is for, just know um, that uh, there are people that are desperate for help. Uh, because they're getting karma and they're under judgment, you know. I feel like that, yeah, you don't need to get in the way of these people's karma or their judgment. I feel like these people, yeah, they have karmic lessons to learn and, yeah, karma to pay. And so, a part, of, yeah, if you are being considered their karma, then, yeah, they got to pay up. And so, I feel like that you're going to receive a lot of information. A lot of information. And so, I feel like you need to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. But, yeah, justice is going to be served. So, as I always say, y'all. Keep your head held high and your middle finger higher and everything's going to turn out. With that being said, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.